All right, folks, it is time for Tool Time Tuesday. Haven't had one in quite a while. Today I want to look at the 6295 OTC front end service kit, but in particular, the 6297 ball joint separator. Now, you guys have seen me use bits of this kit. The one tool I used more often than not is this one here, which works conveniently on tie rod ends that are in a position in which you can get around the knuckle and give a little push on the stud. However, I am pulling the transmission out of a Dodge carry van right now, and we're gonna take a look at this little guy. I've used this enough to know that, yeah, I kind of like it now. So on these carry vans, the steering knuckle is made out of aluminum. Typically what I'll do is I'll stick my red hockey stick that I have on there that you guys have seen, I stick it on there, Mrs. O hangs off the other end and I wail this with an air hammer. Now with the aluminum, you hit it with big nasty and it leaves some pretty good scars. So we're gonna use this method here. What I do is take a little bit of silicone spray, some WD, not a sponsor. I give the boot a little bit of a douche because that, this is what you're trying to avoid. Now if you're going full gorilla changing the ball joint, shove a pickle fork in here and well, game over. So that's what we have to do. It's because I'm pulling the transmission, I already have the axle loose. So I'm going to push the axle in a little bit. And I'm going to stick this in here. Now this is a little snug in this application. I wish they would open up that uh, bottom a little bit more. I may hit it with a grinder because every time I use it, I do find I wish it was a little bit wider. So I get it close. And like I said, make sure you use some spray. WD-40 silicone spray, not a sponsor. There you go, Mr. Though. You think I can put this on my belt? No, don't spray your belt, you crazy. Uh oh. Cat I did belt. just buy some uh, baby powder for it. You got a brand new belt in the back room, woman. So we take and get that up on there. So it just gets to the end of the stud, but I find it doesn't take a lot. This has, of course, it's forced and multiplied across there. Let me find my socket. Right, let me try to get you where you guys can see. Ah, I got my ratchet going the wrong way here. Of course. Right, now we're going the right direction. It takes a one inch, is it inch? Maybe 15, 16, so I grabbed an inch. Now we're just going to give her a little squeeze, even though it's on just the edge of the ball joint, and that's it. And that seems ridiculous. But that's all it took, is that little push. And every time I use this, that's about all it takes. And I've, you know, I've taken apart a lot of these. Like I say, you know, you're pulling down with a fair amount of force and hammering here. This saves a lot of aggravation. I've also used it a few times where when it cuts loose, you got to go clean your britches because it makes a big explosion, but it works fantastic every time. So anyhow, that was the main bit of kit out of here that I wanted to show you. That one and this one here are my most frequently used. I have some other Pitman arm pullers. Uh, that I use more, well actually I've never used this one because I like my other ones a little bit better, but it does come with a few other kibbles and bits in here. And I guess it gives you, yeah, I guess here's here's the example I was talking about uh, with that tool there. And I also use that one for pulling bearing races off of front wheel bearings. Of course, I've heavily modified my other one that I use. Uh, I don't think they probably recommend that. But we do what works. And like I said, the goal is using that tool is so you don't split the boot where as if you used a pickle fork or some other methods you take the chance of breaking the boot uh, like i said if the ball joints junk then you know really who cares so that's it tool tip tuesday or tool time tuesday whatever you want to call it in the description box well loud in the description box there's a link to that tool kit i'll see if i can find the link just for that ball joint separator itself let me know down there what you guys use is your method the you know chain in a pry bar and pull down and hit it with a hammer or what uh, also let me know in the description box if there are other tools that you've seen on sma that you have questions about and perhaps want a dedicated tool time video to i guess everything except scan tools how's that let me know down there and while you're down there click subscribe ring the bell and all that stuff and just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.